good morning children children i welcome you all to today's session of physics and we are on chapter 5th which is heat you do you know and children heat is a form of energy right which makes a substance hotter we also saw what is hot and cold and what is temperature it is the degree of hotness or coldness right its unit is celsius centigrade or fahrenheit right what are the difference unit we also saw that kelvin also is there and we also saw what are the different kinds of thermometer laboratory thermometer then we have um what are the precautions of lab thermometer clinical thermometer precautions and then digital thermometer we saw all that and lastly we saw maximum and minimum thermometer now what were the effects of heat change in temperature change in size change in uh, expansion in solids and expansion effects of expansion on solid we are on to this heading and we saw that the gaps between see children we are here at this moment the gaps are left between railway joints to allow for expansion this is very important and it is very commonly seen also because this is so because these rail tracks are made of iron so they can expand during the day time and when they will expand then these terminals will come closer right okay in large bridges in making large bridge one end is kept fixed and the other end rest on rollers to allow for expansion as shown right if there is expansion then these rollers can adjust everything next fixing of an iron rim on a wooden wheel of a bullock cart all of us have seen that uh, a wooden wheel of bullock carts and horse having thin iron rims right these are fitted around the wooden wheels by the process of expansion by heating then followed by contraction on cooling now how it is done is that firstly these rims are heated and these rims are initially made slightly smaller than the wooden wheel right so firstly this rim is heated uniformly so that its size increases and it fixes with the wheel and then this is allowed to cool and when it will cool its size will shrink so it will fix it will get fixed on the wheel now loops are provided in metal pipes just to allow the expansion in factories see children this we all have also seen this is very common one loops are provided in metal pipes to allow expansion in factories hot water or other liquids are transferred from one place to another through metal pipes these metal pipes are provided with loops to allow expansion of water as well as the pipeline itself also see children when you come out of your houses you can see telephone wire as well as electricity wires going a little low during summer right why it is because see wires are not allowed wires are straight but during summer what happens is they they expand and due to that there is a sag in between right it's like this you know normal conditions uh the wire is like this but during summer what happens is there is a slight dent like this right this is the condition during summer and in winters again it becomes straight right this is also because the wire is made of metal and it's on heating it expands the fixing of iron blade of a digging tool to wooden handle the iron blade of a solid digging tool like spade is fixed to a wooden handle by the process of expansion and then cooling it right the ring uh, is heated is initially it is slightly short than the diameter of the wooden plank right it is heated so that its diameter rings diameter expands and easily fits on the wooden and then it is allowed to cool and it will fix right now we come to another very important aspect that is air expands on heating right whenever air is heated it also expands its volume increases and it occupies a bigger space we say that air expands on heating right that is its volume increase we can see that in the form of a balloon right 
that balloon expands can contract on cooling due to which its volume decrease and right and uh, now change in state on heating change of state may occur which may change into a liquid melting and liquid may change into a gas evaporation for example if ice solid is heated it changes to water liquid and the water is further heated it becomes a vapor conversely when a gas loses energy it changes into liquid and on further cooling it starts freezing the good conductors and poor conductors of heat some material conduct heat easily when other materials do not conduct heat easily so on the basis of conduction of heat all the materials are classified into two groups first is good conductor of heat and second is poor conductors of heat right good conductors of heat are sometimes called just conductors of heat poor conductor of heats are also called insulators right and there is some activity given right those material which allow heat to pass through them easily are called good conductors all metals are good conductors right children this is you should this is very very important because uh, for the purpose of preparing utensils or preparing things to be heated up that is why we use generally use metals and not use non metals because there are good conductors of heat so there is no wastage of heat involved like for example good conductors include copper aluminum iron and mercury right and although they are very good conductors but some metals are best better conductors of heat for example silver copper and aluminum right so those metals materials who do not allow heat to pass through them are called poor conductors of heat or insulators see this is the term here insulator Now, for example cloth leather cotton wool thermocol and all these they come under insulators right now we come to use of good conductors right where all we use good conductors something very very important and essential right good conductors are used to carry heat quickly where it is wanted poor conductors are used to stop heat from going in now cooking utensils are made of metals which i had already discussed simply because the heat conduction is perfect there so the cooking utensils are provided with handles made of plastic or wood now see children why this is done that utensil is made up of metal but the handle is of wood because wood is a poor conductor so our hand will not get heated up in this manner right why do we uh, mercury metal is used in making thermometers because it is a good conductor of heat right see children it is mentioned here also so the temperature will can be determined quite easily then why do we wear woolen clothes in winter because wool is a poor conductor of heat due to which woolen clothes they stop the heat from emitting uh, from our body warm body to the cold surrounding right so there is no heat loss all the heat is there inside and we feel warm now during uh, summers why do we wear cotton clothes because cotton is a good conductor so it allows all the heat from inside our body to come out right and then we will feel cool the heat is moved out of our body right now see it is not only restricted to these things but in uh, birds also we have seen feathers are there to keep them warm in cold weather due to the air trapped in them right the feathers are there right next we go to transfer of heat right to carry heat from one part of an object to the another part or from the other part of another is called transfer of heat for example if we dip a steel spoon in a cup of hot tea we will find that the temperature of the spoon also rises right so this is called the transfer of heat the heat flow from an object see this is very important that the flow is from an object whose temperature is high towards an object whose temperature is low 
right and then the heat is transferred by three techniques which are these conduction convection and radiation right so what it is written that in solid heat is transferred by conduction in liquids and gases heat is transferred by convection and in an empty space of vacuum the heat is transferred by the radiation and so i stop here i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did in making it and until we meet again it's a goodbye